Hey fam, welcome to a game that is like a new and improved top-down shooter of Solomon's Boneyard. Death Must Die is an isometric, single-player, dark fantasy, pixel graphics, hack and slash, RPG action, 2D, roguelike, bullet hell, top-down shooter RPG. It is very fun and edited, and easy to get into, and shares similarities with Solomon's Boneyard. In this game, you pick a hero out of six classes and playstyles. You fight enemies and loot drops. You could either compare or equip them for better stats and abilities like in Solomon's or trade them at the shop at a spawning point. Different heroes have different playstyles and the number of slots for their blessings and types. Enemies come in waves and in all directions and sometimes swarms, black firewalls and bosses appear and you have to fight and beat them to survive and progress. Unidentified monoliths and obelisks can be found scattered around the map and be interacted to reveal god worship buffs and all debuffs. Your PC can move around using WASD, automatically and manually attack enemies, dash using space, pick up items on the ground. As you gain experience, you level up and you get to pick 1 out of 3 blessings from 1 out of 9 gods with unique abilities and status effects. Alternatively, if you dislike your options or you are on a certain build, you could block blessings that you don't like. Change god alignment of your blessings with alterations or reroll your blessings with the same god alignment but for better rarity or different types of blessings. Blessings for up to 4 gods may be selected around. The Morai alignment is fixed, while the other 3 gods are freely selectable. After defeating the final boss or dying each run, PC will spawn back at the mountain and gain access to their achievements, Bonfire to change heroes, Constellarium to update or change talent points, Trave the merchant to buy or sell equips, store equips in the storage chest, and return back to the battlefield to try a new run again. New runs, X and maps can be unlocked with greater difficulties and settings, unlocking harder and stronger mobs and moves. So overall, I really enjoyed playing DMD for being more complex and liberating with their options for blessings. There should also be go options for unlocking permanent or temporary benefits like in Solomon's Boneyard where you can get new heroes with combined abilities such as fire and water combined to become steam magic missile and fire to combine to become explosive homing missiles etc. I hope that DMD can become online multiplier and have global and regional high scores one day. I am looking forward to exploring different playstyles and see how far I can go with new equips and talents. Now tell me Below, what are your top 3 gods and what level and damage do you reach? Thanks for watching, please like and sub for the algos and I will see you all next time. Adios!